happy new year from marine tech hub today i like to thank all my subscribers all over the world for making marine tech hub to the highest level so one important thing i want to tell to the subscribers like you can take level membership 5 uh, so that you will be able to access all my videos and full support for one year and you can always ask any doubt on from the ship so people are asking superintendent chief engineer second engineer third engineer fourth engineer almost every person who is working on the ship electrical officer they are asking doubts and i am helping them so today the topic is with respect to turbocharger so please uh, concentrate on that and if you have any doubt you can message me if you like the video please subscribe so i will run the video for you today i'll explain you about the exhaust gas turbocharger overhauling make is yanmar you can see the cut section of the turbocharger so this is the compressor side this is the turbine side uh, you got the thrust bearing here you got two bearings here so this section cut section view you can understand very nicely i'll be explaining you in detail this is the exhaust gas going this is a sketch you can see this is the silencer air is coming from here you can see the blue mark this is the thrust bearing and you got thrust collars on both the sides you can see the thrust force acting here you can see here this is the bearing full floating bearing here this is the sketch of that this is semi float bearing you can see here semi float there is a locking arrangement pin here make sure that the bearing is put exactly here and to be locked this is a sketch of that this is the ceiling ring coming on the turbine side you can see ceiling ring coming on both sides the ceiling ring should be not broken you can see the locking arrangement here it should be locked like this and it should have the spring action here these are the spares of that exploded view of the turbocharger you can see how to assemble it this is how it, it is the component list are here you can go through that full component ha uh, here is what i want to tell you is when you remove the silencer you got the compressor side you should rotate the compressor by hand and it should be free uh, when you are sliding the turbocharger out so that do not damage the turbine side when you are taking it out very important once you take out this is the turbine side it is taken out you can see this is the compressor side turbine side i removed the other cover here on this side the net is the left hand thread remove this then remove the impeller here you can remove the impeller once you remove the impeller you can remove the seal plate this is the seal plate remove all the bolts once you remove the bolts then put the bolts for jacking remove the seal plates this is the turbine shaft so you can see this is the thrust bearing here so remove the thrust collar then the thrust bearing the thrust bearing you can see the up mark it should be up here and this curve shape should come down for removing the thrust bearing you have the jacking arrangement you can jack it up once that is there you remove the distance piece here then remove the thrust collar once that is removed remove the o ring from here then you can remove the turbine rotor from the other side you can see the turbine shaft this is then you remove the ceiling ring from the turbine side you can change it with a new one so you have the snap ring remove the snap ring then this is the bearing so you can remove the bearing on one side this is the heat shield then remove the snap ring for this then remove the semi float bearing you can see the curve here and this is the locking at pin arrangement here you can see the pin here so you have to lock it properly into it 
while we are assembling it and then this is the seal plate on that seal plate you can see so you can remove the ceiling ring on the compressor side with the new one this is the ceiling ring on the compressor side you can use it like this you can change the compressor side ceiling ring once it is assembled you use the torque spanner to tighten it exactly to the required torque before putting it in place make sure you change the o-ring and change the caskets also so you put a, a copper sheets on the top of this so when you are sliding the o-ring will not get damaged so I put a copper sheet here once you push it slowly inside without damaging the turbine then you can remove the copper sheet then put all these four bolts and all the locking arrangement and if you have any doubt regarding